Hello. These are some sweet corn that I put on these damp tissues um, about a week ago. This is the standard sweet corn that you would eat the corn from the cob. And this is a mini variety that I've never grown before called Mini Pop. Uh, and this is a sweet corn that you would eat the corn and the cob. Uh, this is a much smaller variety. And this particular variety uh, doesn't need uh, to be pollinated. Uh, these are normally, these cobs are normally taken when they're small and before they're pollinated. Um, and something else I didn't know about these is that this particular type of corn does not need to be grown in a block. Because it's not wind pollinated, um, you could grow these individually in a straight line anywhere you like. The standard sweet corn needs to be grown in a block, you probably know that, so that the wind can pollinate it. Right, let's have a look at them. Okay, let me see if I can get one out. Now you can see that this uh, piece of sweet corn has actually got a root now and there's a very small shoot starting to appear and that's after one week. Okay, I'll just pop it back in there for the time being. This corn has also got a small root starting to appear. Now had I left this uh, arrangement in place for another week so this sweet corn would have been in here for two weeks this is what they would have looked like That was from a previous year, and had I left them in there for three weeks, this is what they would have looked like. And that was from a previous year, and then I planted those up uh, as you saw them. Uh, but today I'm going to plant these up. Before they've got shoots, before there's any greenery, I'm going to plant these now. And I'm going to plant these now because I know they're viable. The seed has germinated. Um, so I would expect these to grow. But I'm going to plant them at a depth that I've never planted sweet corn before. And I'm doing that as a result of a video and some investigation I done um, sometime last year in the winter months. Um, I'm gonna dovetail that into this video now. Um, watch that, you may have already seen it, uh, but at the back end of that, we're going to be planting these. We're going to plant this sweet corn. Okay, come back to me, we'll plant some sweet corn together. One of my biggest gardening regrets this year is that I didn't grow some sweet corn. And I didn't grow sweet corn because in the two previous years my attempts have been less than satisfactory. I've managed to grow the stuff, pollination has been um, a bit itty missy, I've had stems break off, uh, the weather's been against me. But last year we got at least a two month period of hot, sunny, dry, calm weather would have been ideal for sweet corn. But I hadn't started any, so I couldn't grow any. I missed the boat and I missed the weather. Um, but I'm going to give it another go next year. Hey, I found those sweet corn seeds in my seed box. Um, and so, yeah, next year I'm going to give sweet corn another go. Um, so what I thought I would do, uh, why we're not in a growing season, we're in the winter now, 
uh, was to have a look around YouTube and the internet and try and get some information on this stuff, try and uh, improve my chances of growing some good sweet corn. Um, but one of the things I found is there doesn't seem to be uh, an agreement, across the board agreement, on what depth we should sow our sweet corn. Now if you're a sweet corn grower, you'll know what depth you plant your sweet corn. What depth do you plant it? Well, let me um, show you some information that I got from the internet that's got me confused. Um, and I'd like your advice, really. Uh, but before I do that, I'm going to turn this packet over. Uh, I'm going to try and get in a little closer with the camera uh, and show you what it says on the back of this packet. Okay, I don't know if you'll get this. Um, this print might be far too small. But the um, sewing depth recommended on this packet of sweet corn is one and a half centimetres. One and a half centimetres. What's that half inch? I don't know. Something like that. One and a half centimetres. So, and I've always uh, advocated, anyone has asked me about uh, spacing, distances, depths, uh, when to sow, when to grow. I've always said, take the advice off the packet if it's something I haven't actually grown. If I've grown it, uh, I'll give advice from experience, but if I haven't grown it, I'll usually say, read what it says on the packet. So this packet says uh, one and a half centimeters. Okay, now let me show you uh, what it says uh, on some of the internet searches that I've done. So indoors, March till May. A warm kitchen window sill is all you need for starting these seeds. So 1.5 centimetres, that's half an inch deep, in pots of compost. Keep warm and moist at temperatures of 15 to 20 degrees C, that's 60 to 68 degrees Fahrenheit. So our first piece of advice ties up with what it said on the back of the seed packet. That's one and a half centimetres deep, half an inch deep, okay. If you wish to, you can sow the sweet corn directly outside, but wait until May, once the weather has become milder and all the risk of frost has passed. Plant two seeds together, approximately one and a half inches deep. Whoa! We've gone from half an inch to one and a half inches. They both can't be right, can they? Let's see what the next one says. So in early spring, under cover in three inch pots, one inch deep for the earliest crop at a minimum temperature of 50 degrees Fahrenheit. Warmth will aid germination rates, hard enough before planting out. So now we've got another plant in depth We've gone from half an inch to one and a half inches and now we're back to one inch. Blimey. Next one. Sow two seeds per station at the depth and distance suggested on the seed packet. Well yeah, that's what I said. Follow the instructions on the packet. That's uh, usually good advice. Uh, but we're getting conflicting advice now, aren't we? Sowing advice. Sow seeds indoors in seed cells early spring or outdoors in May and early June. One seed per square foot, one inch deep. So we're back to our one inch deep again. This one is right off scale. Cover seeds with one sixteenth of an inch of fine soil. Keep soil moist during germination. Sixteenth of an inch. <laughs> That's off scale, isn't it? Come on. Right. Growing, sow two seeds directly into the soil in 40 by 40 centimetre spacings in mid-May. Sow two to three seeds 
four to six centimetres deep into the side in each position. Well that's got to be inch and a half to two and a half inches now. Half an inch, one inch, one and a half inch, two inch, two and a half inch. We're all over the place now. That last one, you'd be glad to wear you. So in early spring, under cover in three inch pots, one inch deep for the earliest crops at a minimum temperature of 50 degrees Fahrenheit. Warmth will aid germination rates. Uh, so we're back to an inch again. Well, we've no consistency here, have we? Um, a lot of disagreement about planting depth. Um, so, so having um, read all that, um, I decided what I really needed to do was um, see what the professionals were up to. And I've always advocated uh, here at Homegrown Veg that the professionals are the food growers, the farmers, aren't they? They do it for a living. They can't afford to get it wrong, can they? They've got to get it right. The livelihood depends on it. Um, so I scoured the internet and I found a couple of videos that are particularly light and I'm going to recommend them to you. Uh, and I've taken a screenshot from one of those videos. I'll pop it up now. Um, this is the root system of a sweet corn plant uh, just below soil level. Check this out. Um, now I could explain that, but I can't explain it as well as the guys uh, that appear in these videos. So I'm not going to attempt to. What I'm going to do is I'm going to ask you uh, to watch two videos. I put a link on at the end of this video of mine. I want you to watch those two videos um, and come back to me and tell me how deep should I plant my sweet corn based on what I've just read, what you've just read and what these farmers are saying. Um, there are a couple of good videos, I know you'll enjoy them. Um, I'm minded to go with the farmers, to disregard most of what you've just read on screen and go with the farmers. Okay, these are yogurt pots. This is what I'm going to be starting my sweet corn in. Um, as you can already see, they're pre-loaded. This pot is about five inches deep and I've loaded it with three inches of uh, compost. So there's two inches left in there now. So if I sit a sweet corn uh, seed on there, fill it up to the top, I've now planted it at a depth of two inches. This is the deepest I've ever planted sweet corn. Um, I don't know if it'll work. I don't know if it'll work. I'm actually taking the advice of those uh, two American farmers. I'm going with the professionals. Uh, it doesn't say two inches on the packet, but I'm going with the two American farmers. Uh, and to make it easy for me to fill these guys, I just made this small cardboard measure. That's um, two inches. Okay. And simply hung it over the edge of the pot and fill it to that level. Um, so as you can see, we're going to get a two inch covering. Right, I'll move all these off here and we'll do one of these on camera uh, and then we'll call it a day. Okay. I'm going to go with these mini pops first um, and then I'll do the uh, standard sweet corn. But you'd be pleased to know, not all on camera. Okay. So if I take that out of there, pop it right in the middle of there. Can you see that? I hope you can. Just move this out of the way a minute. And all we're going to do is top this up. I'm making a bit of a mess on the floor here, so um, I'll need to get uh, tidied up as soon as this uh, video is finished. Okay, let me just put that there. 
I've cut a cardboard disc, okay, and that just gives me a good contact. Okay, now what I didn't tell you uh, before I planted this was um, the compost that was already in this uh, yogurt pot is wet. Okay, there's a lot of moisture in there now, so there's no need to water this top two inches because that root will go down into that bottom three inches and this plant's going to pop out the top. Okay, so that's what we're doing at homegrown veg this year. Will it work? We'll find out later on in the year, won't we? And the only way you're going to find out is if you come back. <laughs> okay. How's that? How's that? Okay, so this is homegrown veg signing out. <laughs>